Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and another video in our OSCE uh, preparation course uh, and uh, today's video will actually be about over-the-counter medications. I know I have a few of these videos on my um, channel uh, uh, but a, a lot of you have asked me to uh, make more and more videos about over-the-counter medications so I'll, uh, I'll continue to do that in addition to other uh, cases as well. Uh, over-the-counter cases in the pharmacist OSCE exam are amongst the um, most popular cases I should say uh, so you'll see a lot of these and no matter how much you practice um, you never know what you'll get in the OSCE in the actual OSCE but practice uh, uh, is actually very good um, it helps you uh, get exposed to a lot of uh, medications over-the-counter medications available in Canada especially if you're an international uh, student coming from another country you might have these medications under different names or different brands so uh, practicing Canadian medications uh, over-the-counter medications will help you uh, in the actual uh, OSCE exam now let's get started with today's case outside of the station's door uh, there is an instruction sheet a patient needs help choosing an Odyssey product uh, you are the pharmacist on duty. Assess the patient in choosing the most appropriate product and counsel the patient on the product's use. So, uh, like I keep saying in all my videos, you have to uh, read this very thoroughly and understand every part of it because there are some tips on the instruction sheet that you'll see on the door. Um, now, you know that you need to help the patient choose an OTC product. That means there is more than one OTC product uh, that will be presented in the room. Um, you're the pharmacist and you need to assist the patient to choose one product and then counsel the patient on how to use that product. So you're not just going to pick a product, you have to counsel the patient on the use of that product. Once you hear the final buzzer, uh, proceed outside the station and follow the instructions uh, or the directions of the uh, assessors. inside the station once you enter the station take a seat at the desk you'll see an assessor uh, a person sitting at the corner of the room um, they are documenting everything the, your interactions and giving you scoring your interactions basically um, immediately scan the desk uh, to see what's provided you'll see a few boxes on the desk you'll see some references uh, paperwork um, don't spend too much time trying to understand what's going on on the desk because you only have seven seconds before the patient actually enters. The patient is actually an actor or actress. Um, and then um, as soon as you hear the buzzer, the, the, the patient will enter the room and take a seat at the desk. Patient. Hi, I need your help choosing a sleep aid, please. There are lots of products and I'm not sure which one is good for me. Pharmacist. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm the pharmacist and I'd be happy to assist you today. So you said you're looking for a sleep aid, right? Okay, I'm going to pause here and as you can see, uh, immediately introduce yourself. This is very important. Um, offer help. Show the patient that you are ready to help them. And then repeat what the patient said. So the patient said, I need help choosing a sleep aid. Uh, repeat what the patient said in order to see if you actually understood what they wanted. So you said you're looking for a sleep aid, right? And the patient will say, that's right. Okay, moving on. Sure, I just need to ask a few questions to be able to choose the best product for you. Is that okay? Patient, of course. Pharmacist. So, you're having difficulty sleeping at night? Patient, yes. Uh, now, note, I'm going to pause here. Note that you asked a question here, or I asked a question. Are you having difficulty sleeping at night? And um, this could be one thing that the patient is experiencing, but I didn't ask everything. Like, the patient might be sleeping at night, but then awakening... Uh, maybe two or three hours later. So I didn't ask that question. And then uh, let's move on. And how long has that been going for? Patient. It's been four nights now. So the patient has been suffering from this for four nights. Pharmacist. 
Are you having trouble falling asleep or do you fall asleep but don't get enough hours of sleep? Now I'm going to pause here again. Uh, as soon as the patient said four nights, I immediately, like it came to me that there, there could be more symptoms. It might not be just difficulty sleeping at night because four nights is a lot. Um, so maybe the patient was able to sleep in uh, like some of these nights but woke up uh, earlier than uh, they should and that's why I asked this question here to clarify exactly what's going on with the patient All right moving on the patient will respond uh, saying sometimes I can't fall asleep at all and sometimes uh, some other times I fall asleep but wake up two hours or so 